This controller mapping for the USB GameCube controller for Mario Sunshine. Now, if you plug it in and use it just the way it is, uh, your trigger here will bring up the menu, so you have to uh, you know, reconfigure the input of your trigger to your Y button. And then in the menu, you'll notice that when you try to use it, the A and B button are switched uh, for the you know, inputs in the configuration menu, so you have to switch those. And then, because these controllers have the analog and then digital press, you don't have the analog part. So this part right here isn't registered. It only picks up this part. Okay? So, to fix that, I had to remap the Z button to R3. So, Y to R1, or just R, and then trigger to R2, and then that gives us our spray, and then the Z button gives us our butt bomb, and then our L button is supposed to be, um, say, camera distance, um, but we don't have, you know, I, I didn't have that in mapped, uh, because before, the camera distance button, um, let's see, I thought, I think was, I think was Y. Y was doing the camera. So, I redirected Y over, so it would take control of the map, because when I was pushing this trigger, I was getting the map. So I took R1 and went to Y. Then I took the trigger and made it R2 and made Z R3 and then the rest of it right analog left analog and I also programmed start and pause button in the start and select sections of the inputs on retro arch so the start button is the start and select button um, and so far, I've got all of the keys. Um, now, I was going to try the, you know, original N64 USB controller, but I really like the GameCube controller, so I really wanted to get it working. And if I could figure out how to get the analog to digital to work, um, you know, that would be, that would be great. I, I'm reading some things that it's totally possible, but either way, uh, you know, that's, that's how I was able to remap this controller to make uh, Super Mario Sunshine playable. Um, so, to go over it again, we'll do our start button is mapped for start and select, or you won't be able to select anything, especially in Smash Brothers, that would make you mad. Um, and then A and B, those two are switched. And then Y goes to R1, R goes to R2, and Z goes to R3. And that's it. Um, and the left trigger goes nowhere. So that is how you map a GameCube controller for RetroArch to get it to work. Um, at least to a playable stance, anyhow. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, yeah, subscribe.